In this video, we will check the compatibility of the Eureka and Kate mods in order to create air and water bases. And yes, there will be a lot of bugs. And before we start, I want to advise you the server of our sponsor, thanks to which this video was released, namely his story. Eh, you can get into servers, but they are all not like that. If only there would be such a server that would be different from the others and it had its own spark. A place where people create the history of the server themselves. And it's a pity that there is no such place. Then I need to take matters into my own hands. And what, what if, what if for your own server? A server in which there will be diplomacy, where there are its own laws and economy. A place where you can come and spend time with a cup of tea or something stronger. A place where every player can miss their ideas and dreams, created their own story. And then its name. Pegasi Thief link to the Discord will be in the description. This whopper from the Eureka mod will be our test site. And the shaders will have to be disabled. To begin with, we will check the compatibility of all rotation sources from the kit mod with designs from the Eureka mod. We'll start with a creative engine. The motor can still be powered by various mechanisms, but there are some nuances, namely the inability to change the speed and direction of rotation. And now the water wheel. In both positions, the water wheel works successfully and also powers the mechanisms. I thought there would be problems with liquids while driving, but there was nothing like that. Everything works fine. Now the windmill. Let's assemble our mill, I put a vertical gearbox on the bottom so that it is convenient to output rotation, well, actually, I assemble it. We are launching our windmill, it is hard to see, but it is already working. Added more blades to make it clearer. By tradition, we will check on the envelope tape, it works well. Now about the cons. You will not be able to change the direction of rotation with the key, as I did not poke, it rotated in the same direction. But you can live with it, as you understand, I managed to change the direction of movement. Well, one more minus, you have clumsy arrows and tips when placing sails. Here I am already putting on ordinary blocks and you see how it should be and how it worked with us. We still have the steam engine. I'm building a steam boiler right now. He will work on the fire, which is from below. Now I put a steam engine and a shaft on top, you need to pour water. I fill it in and we even have something working. And now no, the water has run out. And I found out that it won't work to pour water into the boiler with pipes, it doesn't work. Despite the fact that the same boiler works on conventional blocks, but water is poured into the liquid tank itself and this is very strange, despite the fact that the boiler is made of tanks. The steam engine works, but it is very inconvenient to pour liquid into the steam boiler with your hands, so it will not be comfortable to use it. There are no questions about the gears, they work fine. Only of course there is also a problem with the arrows and it is not clear where they are installed, but you need to get used to it. The following units also work well, such as gearboxes, clutch, reversing mechanism, chain drives in the housing and an adjustable chain drive also work well. There are almost no problems with gutters, the only thing that disappointed me is that it is impossible to put something in the filter slot. I think this problem will be repeated with other mechanisms. Here I try to put not a block, but an object, alas, still does not work. And it looks like I was right, in all blocks where there is a slot for the filter, it will not work. But all types of tunnels, funnels work fine. Depots and catapults generally work, you can also put items on them or they can come from envelope tapes. But before they could not pick up objects that fall on them. Like this, for example. Alas, the fan has become as useless as possible. Treatment with fire, water or lava will not work either. On the contrary, they work perfectly with millstones. You can submit resources in any way. It's more interesting with crushing wheels. They don't work if you dump a resource on top of them, but if you feed this resource on a conveyor belt, then everything will work for you. The mechanical press and the mechanical mixer also work normally. The rotation speed controller, unfortunately, it will not work correctly. Namely, you will not be able to change the rotation speed of a large gear, no matter how you change the values. And let's take a look at how the gantry crane shaft works from the gantry crane chassis. When the shaft is installed horizontally, the chassis moves jerkily, as if something interferes with it, and when installed vertically, it works fine. The chassis can also be glued blocks, but in the process of movement, the chassis and the block will be immaterial, 
which is bad. But at the same time, everything, even the loaded chassis, mechanisms such as drills and mechanical saws will work. Here I'm trying to glue a multi-block chassis design and see how it will work. Glued blocks will also be immaterial in the process of movement. The next tank is connected to the glue. When you glue blocks together usually, you have a dedicated area, but when you do it on a ship or on an aerial structure, this area will be missing, which can complicate the bonding process. Then I decided to test the mechanical rotator. I assembled some kind of construction, glued it together and launched it. And everything worked. Just imagine. You can build a realistic airplane or helicopter or whatever your heart desires. But the disadvantages will be the same, the design during the movements will be ghostly and immaterial. About the clockwork. It will also work and the blocks will also be immaterial. Next, I checked the mechanical pistons, they worked fine both horizontally and vertically arranged. Well, I tested it during the flight. Then I assembled such a construction, glued it to one of the pistons. And here I checked whether the mechanisms would break the blocks during the movement of the piston. I still have questions about the saw. As a consequence, then I started creating farms, checking how they work. The harvester was working fine. Then I went back to the saw and started to install trees, they grow very quickly, because I accelerated this process. Then I started this mechanism and everything started working, but it looked a little clumsy. The textures of the blocks just shifted, but everything worked fine. If this was stopped, then everything returned to normal human form. I made a similar check with the plow and look what happened. The same shift of textures, but at the same time the blocks were all mined and the land was plowed. Well, our favorite mechanical drill also broke blocks and when they were destroyed, its text moved apart. Then I glued the chest and turned it out of each design. The result is positive. That is, auto farms are able to transfer the extracted resource to the storage. Well, then I glued the interface and I wondered if it would be able to transfer resources. It seems to have worked, the cobblestone caused a lot of questions. Resources after this boulder stopped coming, although the inventory was full. I already thought all the interfaces were not working, but then I built the following structure and the resources went. Then I tried to unload using the interface that is installed on the aircraft and on the ground, and, unfortunately, they cannot connect. Then I started researching the standalone activator. I was pleased that he can interact with some blocks, but alas, he will not be able to mine blocks with tools. Fortunately, he still puts blocks, which is good. Then I checked the installation of the blocks by adding rotation and a glued chest test. There were some blocks in it, I was checking whether the activator could take them from this chest and put them. Then I decided to check in the winch and the pulley with the hose. Within the framework of the aerial structure, the winch worked amazingly. I even flew a little when the winch lifted the block. Then I tried to lift a block that was part of the normal world and the ship was pushed out. I conducted a similar test with a pulley, trying to pump water from a source that was outside the water structure. And there was no water. Therefore, I went further to investigate the mechanisms that work with liquids, namely, I decided to check the dispenser with a mechanical pump and a liquid tank. And I made my cake. And an object dehumidifier. I have created a simple mechanism that will automatically supply a potion to it. And I coped with the task. It's time for liquid interfaces. I built the following structure, filled it with water and saw what would happen. The water started to be transferred, which means that everything worked out for me. Also while I was flying, I decided to test a mechanical crafter and it worked in flight, creating several buckets. And yes, the mechanical arm supplied all the right ingredients, so it works too. And the cons. Please note that I'm stuck at the intersection of several mechanical crafters and I can't combine them, I just can't click. Also, when you select targets for the mechanical arm, they will not be highlighted, so this should be taken into account, which will complicate the installation a little. Then I started checking the chassis. The first chassis turned out to be radial, I put slime on it and installed blocks next to it. Note that I did not glue these blocks, the chassis should pick them up by itself. Then I looked at two kinds of linear chassis and both work. And the linear chassis has an interesting problem, now I'm changing the range of how many blocks will be picked up, I put one. Then turning on the mechanism in reverse order, I still attract everything. And if we stop all this, then again we will have a range of 8. 
and a similar problem with the radial 6. And now I have set units, in theory we should have only gold blocks spinning, but if we turn on the bearing, then everyone is spinning. Then I decided to check the serial transmission box, the Velcro block. I made a simple mechanism like this, where when we press the lever, the Velcro block will rotate. I put the signal growth to the Velcro block and it sticks to the cobblestone, now they move together. And I give another growth signal to disconnect. Now it moves separately. And there were problems with the sequential gearbox. All actions that you set are reset to zero after you exit the mechanism. In fact, only one action works for you, turn 90 degrees. With observers, everything is bad, you will not be able to put anything in the filter slots, which already makes them useless. And in case of fullness, all your settings are reset after exiting it. Then I checked the contact and it worked. I know what you were thinking, I was thinking the same thing. The first problem is that all the trolleys are invisible and if you sit in it, you will look something like that, sitting in the air. Then I decided to build a trolley thing and it also turned out to be invisible from below, but at the same time it gathered. I couldn't set it in motion, I tried to push it, but then I put another trolley thing and it pushed the one in front. At the same time, they could destroy obstacles and get blocks that I put up. Then I decided to test everything in flight and some bullshit happened, one trolley became material and the other destroyed it. The experiment got out of control. Then I tried to put rails for the train and already I had other problems, I just couldn't install them properly. I thought it might not help that I aligned the ship according to the coordinates of Minecraft. But no way, the problem with installing the rail was not solved. Then I took the hands of the station, tried to shout along the rails in the hope that I would install, but I was wrong. And now let's talk about wireless redstone. Forget it. You just won't be able to click on the slots and set the frequencies. To sum up, the compatibility of the Eureka fashion and the crate is about 60%, which is quite rake, friends. Well, Enderka was with you, thanks for watching, bye.